just on our way now to the coach for our Morella trip to Rome. We have been advised to take some form of ID, i.e. passport. Morning. Morning. We're gonna visit St. Peter, so outside, outside of the church. Then uh, we're gonna have a little bit of free time, just to take something to eat if you want. Um, a second breakfast. Uh, then uh, we are gonna go for lunch. Uh, the restaurant is Pizza Ciro. Do you know who is Ciro? <laughs> Ciro. Ciro is the restaurant also. Then uh, we're gonna visit the best uh, in the afternoon. Uh, Navona, Navona Square, Pantheon. Pantheon is a Greek Roman temple. Then we're gonna visit uh, the, I think, the most famous fountain in Italy. What is the most famous fountain in Italy? Ah, wonderful. Visual of culture. Good. So, we're gonna visit Venezia Square with the balcony of uh, Mussolini. Yeah, okay. Then uh, we're gonna visit Fari Imperiali and, and the last is Colosseum. Have you seen Colosseum? You went in Italy before? Yeah. And up? So you, you and you. So, you too? So, what do you? So, the rest of the bus is gonna have a big surprise. Colosseum is there. Then, uh, then we go. to St. Peter's Square. This wall we're walking past was built in the 15th century.
apparently today there's huge strikes in Rome. This is the border to the, the Vatican. This is the official entrance to the Vatican. The people who work here. St. Peter's Square. Quite warm today, it's uh, 19 degrees. Peter Square is quite large. As you can see, it's all the way down there. There's still hundreds of people here, you can imagine what it'd be like in the summer. But there'd be thousands and thousands of people who just not be able to move. Guide again. <laughs> this is the bridge of the angels. This is the river of Rome. 
from the ball to the back right. I think this is a court of law. I think we're going to another square now and then for lunch. Say something, this guide. I'm sure she's going around on her bike. I mean, I can walk fast. If you take a picture or something and she's gone. <laughs> so that's a pretty a warning for anybody who's got a guided tour. Keep up with the guide. Seems to walk a long way to go to a restaurant. Also be aware of the traffic. Can't call the Greeks, these are kamikaze. This is where, in this little square, we're having something to eat. Finally. Most of the restaurants are full. So we're walking around with a guy now, trying to find another one. And another one. I don't know where this is. Very warm as well. Come on to Navona Square. We've actually come on for something to eat, so while I'm waiting for my pizza, I thought I'll video the square, which is very, very beautiful. As you can see, there's loads of restaurants. Fantastic view. Some of the monuments are amazing. Beautiful architecture, as you can see. Again now we're off to see the Parthenon. And you can see it's so busy. 
We have been warned to watch your phones and your bags and your wallets. And this is it. Parking on. column, the Parthenon, come from Egypt. Temple dedicated to the Emperor of Rome. Emperor Agent, I think. There's our guide. Way now to Trevi Fountain. People everywhere. There's no way when I come here, somebody just won't be able to move. That's where now where uh, Trevi Fountain is. There's no way you can get near that. There's so many people. Monument in Europe. Right, we're walking now to the Colosseum. We have to a lot of walking today. There is an easier trip, we just travel around on the coach for the for the elderly and disabled. But it's an hour and a half each way. So you've got seven hours, you do a lot of walking within that seven hours, so Watch for the bikes. There's a Colosseum in the back. Background.
fantastic. We did all the bloody ultra bikes, and if you're lucky to survive, it looks like a bay and crowd if you survived or not. Absolutely fantastic. Amazing building, the Coliseum. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our day in Rome. Just see some fabulous places, the Coliseum, Parthenon, and then we're just finishing off with a pizza. And then we had to get back on the coach to get back to the ship. But a little bit of a warning, make sure you stick with the guide because they walk so quick. I'm sure they're going around on a bike. So make sure you stick with the uh, the guide because you will get lost in Rome. So I'll say ciao for now. Ciao, see you in Pompeii. Bye.